So what Elon Musk wants to do, and I don't want, I don't agree with getting to this level. He wants to put a little neuralase in, into your brain. And the CIA and even the Air Force, they, they've been working on things for the past 20, 30 years that has the, 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 um, the actual, um, the person navigating the, 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 the craft, they can connect uh, with their brain by putting a little device on their forehead yeah. that connects yeah. to a pineal gland in different areas. By doing that, they can actually operate the craft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So with, with virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality, putting that within um, the, the, not only the confines of your craft, but building it within the system. That means it can be an interactive process between the human being that comes inside the craft and the actual uh, craft, which is almost like a living organism, mandated and governed by AI system. But at that point, it wouldn't be artificial neural intelligence anymore. It would be almost in the realm of artificial general intelligence. So you can make your air aircraft alive in a sense and this this is not 50 years away this can be achieved in under 10 years yeah okay okay now do you think that you know with a lot of these electrical vertical takeoff and landing and vertical takeoff and landing flying machines in general um do you think it's a good idea that eventually they get piloted by ai or is it best to have them piloted by human being but maybe remotely i think a hybrid, hybrid system is best so you have a security um, protocol that the AI system could never um, make decisions that are beyond the human yeah. operator, okay. but it's good okay. to have both 